Last time on Fossil Hunters. All right, we're headed to the dugong site. Where's Dad at? This is one of our favorite trolls to collect on. Yeah, now that's that's got a pretty decent color. I am just beyond terrified. There are bones everywhere. Of alligators. Oh, watch out! Hey guys, I found a bunch of dugong ribs! I've been in touch with a fellow fossil hunter named Ken Fullman. Ken and his wife Ruth live about four hours south of here in Cape Coral, Florida. Ken's had a lot of luck searching a small tributary of the Peace River down there. So much luck, in fact, that he's taken his extra fossils and he's turned them into fossil art. So we're going to go down, do a little fossil hunting with Ken, and then afterwards, look at his collection and maybe see some of these fossil art sculptures he's been creating. So with Ken leading the way, we headed to two of his honey holes in this tributary that feeds into the Peace River in Arcadia, Florida. Hi, my name is Ken Fullman and I'm addicted to fossil hunting. I'm bringing this group down here, the fossil hunters, here to check out the creek I'm digging and show you the area where I found 27 species of fossils. So Trish, any luck in the piece yesterday? Uh, we had some luck. We got a ton of shark's teeth we pulled up. Um, Dave found a premolar to either a, a prehistoric dog or wolf. Uh, um, Hannah found an ancient sand dollar. Small mako. Maybe a sand tiger. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, it's a nice sweet Meg, it's a nice river Meg. There you go. Oh, that's a nice one. That's pretty. Just getting it in there. Yeah, you, see, you feel the crunch I'm talking about? Yeah. Once you find that vein, you just continue with that vein. Don't give up on it. Found a little gator tooth. Well, a lot of dugong, a lot of, uh, you know, useless stuff that we always get. Hey, look at me. Did we just have a giant rainstorm? Yes, we did. Has that got something to do with the fact that there's a leaf on your head? <laughs> look at the one that you have. That one's got nice colors. It's a lot bigger than the one I have. What is that, guys? It's either gator or um, this a crocodile. Is alligator. Alligator? alligator? A decent size um, Meg. Dude. First Meg. First Meg. Beautiful. It's missing the uh, spinous process. But still, great vertebrae. Alright, Ken. Alright. That is so pretty. Awesome job, Hannah. Junior fossil hunter. I found uh, all these dugong ribs. Uh, 
down by there. Ken showed me a really good spot. I told him I was going to get his weight in dugong. I think we got it. Oh, I think yeah. you did get his weight in dugong. I, uh, I think this beats uh, Quinn's record. He uh oh. Like of uh oh. Here we go. I it's going it, to be a fossil it, war. It needs to be. I think. I think I beat him. But you can carry as much of that as you want out of here, right? Oh, I'm going to. Um. Yeah. It's always good for outreach. We take it. We take, give it to schools. You oh, give yeah. it to friends. Mm -hmm. Get them interested in fossils. That is a lot. So you got another fraglodon, but we didn't get it on camera. Where is it now? Um, a bunch of. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Cool. It's not the one of them that's in its mouth. Wait, have you got them in your mouth again? I got a couple of them. <laughs> Would you like me to get you a bag? No, I'm good. Are you sure? Oh, it's right here. It is. It's a nice color. All right, just found a nice sized gator tooth. Not a mag, but still a shark's tooth. <laughs> Stop. What's the matter, honey? Leave me alone. Tell me what happened. I didn't find any mags. You didn't find any mags? No. Poor baby. Beautiful. Nice finds. Yeah, I'm happy. I said, I just have a question about what this could be, if it's anything. Ooh, yes. That is tusk. Okay, I was because of the way it flakes. Uh -huh. Is that right? So, proboscidean tusk, like uh, mammoth or mastodon. That. That's a broken armadillo scoot from the genus Homocena. Well, my wife and I moved down here from northern Illinois, McHenry County, and when we moved down here, we wanted some adventure. We first started fossiling at Florida's Venice Beach, digging up small shark teeth on the beach. Then I wanted to adventure a little further, and I got certified in diving, and I started looking for the megalodon teeth. I was very, very fortunate what I found, as you can see behind me. Yeah, you found a lot of good stuff, you can tell. Tell us a little bit about your collection. In one area, I've uh, found 27 species of fossils, varying from uh, glypidon scoots and mammoth, camel, different parts of uh, alligator, megalodon, and so on. So on our recent fossil hunt with you, um, you were finding lots of stuff, some mangs and some other species, and I wasn't having much luck at all. So, But can you give us some pointers? Yeah, you probably use my shovel as a pro to be able to dig into the bottom of the creek and rivers, trying to feel for heavy gravel or stone. I come to find out uh, fossils collect in these stones, and I use a shovel trying to go past the sand. And when I feel a pocket of gravel, I stay with that pocket. Sometimes it's like a vein, and I don't give up in that hole until uh, that stone or gravel gives up. But I've been pretty fortunate uh, finding a lot of different fossils. So here's something new and different, fossil art. So can you tell us how you came to create this and what inspired it? Over the years, I've been collecting different types of fossils and I've been getting broken pieces of shark teeth and not really knowing what to do with it. Past years, I've had some talent in making sculptures. So I figured, well, let me try to take those bits and pieces of shark teeth and try to create some kind of art I've seen other fossil hunters uh, take their shark teeth and they put them on a background and they do a sh shape of a shark. But I want to do something more 3D, give it more a realistic effect. And I think uh, it turned out pretty well. Oh yeah, these are amazing. I mean, you're using shark's teeth to create sharks. So what's the name of this art? Well, it, because it pertains to shark teeth, I call it Bite Me Fossil Sculptures. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. And you're going to be displaying these and selling these at the Venice Art Festival? Yes, that's going to be my first showing this year, ever. So I'm excited and I can't wait to see a lot of fossil hunters uh, take interest in what I'm doing. Well, we can't wait either. Fossil hunters will be there. Here we are at the Venice Sharks Tooth Festival. I have junior fossil hunters Alex and Noah with us. Don's behind the camera. We're gonna go check it out. Try and see if we can see uh, Ken Fullman and check out his fossil art. So uh, 
Um, here we are at Ken's booth at the Shark's Tooth Festival in Venice. Um, Ken, what's the reaction been so far to your fossil art? Amazing. No one's ever seen anything like this before, and I think they really appreciate what I'm making, and I'm glad to share it with them. So I see you've got some new pieces here. You want to show us some of them? Yeah. Of course, this is the, my favorite one is called the Mega Mouth, asking 1200 for that. You can see it all different varieties of different teeth. Probably has about six different varieties of shark teeth in there, including Megalodon and Mako. And uh, I've got lesser price uh, items here. This is my new uh, desktop shark, and I'm asking 200 for him. If anyone contacts me, I can make something custom for them. All right, cool. It's great to see you. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so we were at the Venice Shark's Tooth Festival yesterday and I saw all these mags. I was so sad because I've not ever gotten a mag and I've gotten all kinds of stuff but not a mag. So today, just walking, just walking. Walking walking, where? Walking where? Walking along Casperson Beach. Boy, what is this? This is Casperson Beach. We're just, I mean, we had been snorkeling already and so then we're just walking, looking for little stuff. And I'm, I just see something dark and I grab it and I almost had a heart attack. I almost had a heart attack because I was so happy.